Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Fundu Tester. So this is a continuation of a test sigma tutorial. In previous session, we have gone through how, uh, what is a test sigma, what is a no code automation framework, how we can write a script without writing any single line of code. And we have seen how we can arrange a test via test suite and a test plan but uh, this is not a complete thing uh, in real time automation we are doing so much things and we are writing a complex scenarios and we have to uh, write a dynamic test data we are generating test data on fly uh, if we are using a cucumber or a test ng uh, then we should know we are uh, using few tests as a prerequisite like a base test or a base suite or so every time we are not going to write the same code if we have written the same method once so that method we are going to use multiple times whenever we are uh, going to automate uh, further functionality so this is a uh, generic scenario but the question is these all things are possible on a no code automation framework so today we are going to discuss the same thing how we can you write a dynamic test how we can write a if statement for loops and uh, apart from how we can reuse the methods and all these things on a no code automation platform test sigma so before moving forward don't forget to like and share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe fundu tester stay tuned camera rolling action So here I have created one test and uh, with this we are going to check if we are going to uh, perform some exp actions on a various element and we by that time we will see if that element is enabled, disabled or if uh, that element is available on a web page or not. So basically we are doing using the if statement in a traditional framework. So how can we write a if statement here? Uh, let's check it out. So first of all, uh, while writing a next step, we can see here the message uh, kind of a button and there we have to specify condition if. So now uh, there are multiple options. The element is enabled, disable or not. Uh, so using the if statement, there are some basic NLPs are available. Using that, uh, we can directly uh, leverage the things uh, so basically let's say we are going to check check that we are on a current URL or not if we are on a current page then only we are going to do the some other operation so let's say uh, I am checking a current URL is this and here also we can pass a current URL from a parameter runtime environment or random or data generator so basically what happens let's say we have to work on a real time data or uh, some web parameters we are passing from an environment or we have some random values so this or functionality also we can leverage but as of now i am going to write a static data which is a url so i make sure that if we are on a this page then only we are going to perform some activity so this is done now uh, we, I, we, we have written the if statement now we are going to make sure some activity so you can see uh, this is a step number two and beneath that step number two dot o which means if statement and inside the if block we are going to write a certain lines of a code so now we uh, after this step we will be at a login uh, login page of a orange crm and our condition is satisfied which means we are going to perform some activities so on this page let's say there are some login elements and all these things so let me link this test with the test profile data here i have a, a test data for a uh, created for a orange crm i am going to link it and later on i am going to enter data into a some a username field so enter uh, test data into a particular element so test data is i am going to pass a parameter and here i have a username and uh, on an element so i have stored an element which is a username field and this and i'm creating a test and uh, we are going to execute the test so if i'm going to execute the test i'm uh, running on a test sigma and uh, mac and google chrome so we will run the application and we'll see if it is going to the if condition if it is satisfied and it is entering the uh, values to username or not so as of now the test is running we can see the booting which means uh, it is in progress and once the execution is done we will have a screenshots and we will have a video recording as well so now we can see the condition fulfilled and here we can see the condition is true and later on it went to the this field and enter the uh, username orange crm 
now but how to make sure that uh, this is correct or not so what we we can do uh, we'll pass some random urls so now let update a previous url with something else and we are going to check if it is a orange crm or not so basically what we are do doing we are going to the google.com and we are checking if it is uh, this url which means the google url and orange CR url is same which means condition is not satisfied here so we will come out from the if loop and our uh, test will stop there only so let me run the test and we will see if it is working or not so i am running now so we can see it is showing condition false which means in, it didn't uh, went inside the if loop A script has came out from the if statement and it has uh, completed the execution so this is how using a plain english test we can write a if statement apart from the if statement we can here we can leverage the uh, use of a multiple statement so if I, again if i'm going to the same test and i'm trying to write a step so here we can see apart from the if statement there are four loops while loop and if i have to write a for loop so again uh, there are uh, certain activities like a loop over the test data from the test profile and where uh, set name contains start with end with equals or in basically basically we are specifying the conditions like uh, greater than or equal to or we are starting from zero to n or based on some conditions we are uh, uh, looping through entire loop and we are executing some tests so similar way also here there are certain options are available and we can pass something and test data and all these things so based on that uh, we can execute the test so let's say for example i'm using this and test data from uh, which ones so i have a two test data profile test data for login and test data from orange crm so i can use this and again we have to specify one thing contain start with end with equals or in so let's say i am writing start with i have to pass the parameter again username so if it is start with the username or uh, let's say instead of this i want to pass a data generator so data generator here we have so many options we can do the email with domain username uh, random character so in real time uh, we are performing test on a certain activities and for that time we have to generate a random test data so this is also all these things can be done using a test sigma so here there are uh, so many functions like uh, using this we can generate a random uh, test data like a domain function email with a domain so we will see how can we do that so enter with a domain with email id and here what we have to specify we have to just specify the domain which is let's say i am going to specify fundutesters.com and uh, save so basically it will generate a domain with a uh, email which means nisant at the rate fundu tester or a tester1 at the rate fundu tester or hello at the rate fundu tester so every time we will have a random data uh, and domain will remain the same if i am going to use something else let's say some data generator and uh, uh, some random number so here i have to specify the min range and max max range so let's say i want to generate number between the 6 to 32 so 6 will be min range and 32 will be the max range so this we have to define once and based on every time we will get a random number from 6 between 6 to 32 so scenario will be like that we have a list created from the list we need to fetch one number out of uh, uh, over 0 to 10th element so every time we will get a random number generated and from this we can fetch the data and we can pass the same data with our test test sigma apart from we have a while loop here so while loop again uh, there's there are some basic conditions are given and based on the conditions we can write a entry point and uh, from a sub point we can beneath that we can create a multiple statement so this is gonna be a 5 then beneath statement will be a 5.1 5.2 5.2 will be all the execution steps whatever we are going to execute inside the while loops now we are going to discuss that let's say uh, like a test ng or cucumber we have a base test or a before test or after method or before method functionality is available so the same thing i wanted to replicate with uh, on a test sigma platform then how can i do that so that is a very simple basically we have to create a test step so let me go to the login test here and uh, this is the login functionality we have created now what i have to do i just i wanted to convert into a group so this is a group 
और बेसिकली एंटरिंग अ यूजर नेम एंटरिंग अ पासवर्ड और क्लिक ऑन द लॉग इन बटन दिस इज माई ग्रुप सो इफ आई हैव सिलेक्टेड यू कैन सी आई कैन बेसिकली क्रिएट बल्क अपलोड क्रिएट ब्लॉक और क्रिएट अ स्टेप ग्रुप स्टेप ग्रुप मीन्स आई एम क्रिएटिंग अ मेथड सो विच इज अ लॉग इन मेथड सो आई एम गिविंग अ नेम लॉग इन टू एप्लीकेशन स्टेप ग्रुप दिस इज गो नी अ मेथड नेम आई एम जस्ट क्रिएटिंग दिस and one method got create of uh, let's say from the next time i won't don't want to i want to reuse that code then how can we do that so let's say i'm going to create a one more test reuse login login and we are going to uh, do the we are going to write a test script manually so we are going to navigate to the this url create one step got created and later on we are going to leverage from a steps so here step group so we can see uh, if i click on this button so we can see there are option of a test group and log into test group so this step group is available and i am just creating see the so login test is done completed we are reusing this particular block of a code or a particular method of a code and our test is done so if we have completed we have to submit for a review and later on we will execute the test so review approving done and i am running the test on a test sigma make uh, basically make os and i am running on a chrome and running the test now it is running step by step here we have we have not written any line of a code or anything we are just reusing the code and uh, i'm just demoing how we can reuse the steps or uh, test cases in a plain english uh, from next time so here we can see the now test group is running it is showing a running symbol once it is done we have a ex execution report so it is done so here the first step we uh, we are navigating to the simple travel.com and later on uh, from the test group we have performed uh, this many steps three steps so entering a username we can see it has entered a username closing this one entering a password we can see on a this screenshot we have entered the password and we are clicking on a login button and done so we are navigating to the uh login screen so this is how on a test sigma platform we can uh, reuse the code like a, a traditional framework we can create a test steps or a test blocks and we can reuse at any point of time and apart from that uh, we can write for loops if statement while loop code block we can write and uh, apart from that there are certain nlps are available to generate random data so on the fly we can generate any set of random data just passing a few values and it these are pretty fast activity we can get it done very rapidly so this is all about test sigma i hope the video is useful for you all and if you like and don't forget to like and share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe for new dashers thank you so much